Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create this dead zone. So when you are in the zone, you are healthy, but when you leave the zone, you get damage over time. So you have to be in the zone, otherwise you will die. So let's go. First of all, I prepared a widget for this. So right click use interface widget. So let's open this up. As you can see, that's just a red background with an opacity of 0.2. As well, we have a progress bar, as you can see, with a green background and just this text as health text. All right, let's open up our third person character. This one here, so nothing has changed, just the normal third person character here. So we need a few more variables for this. The first one will be take damage. The second one is death, both are booleans. And the last one is the health asin float. Compile and save this. So let's take out and begin play event. We want to create the widget, of course, that we created. In this case, I just call it my widget, whatever you want. Then we promote this to a variable. Let's call this just widget. And at the end, of course, we want to add this to the viewport. Compile and save this. Next up, we need a custom event. So right click, add custom event. This will be the area damage. So we start up with the take damage boolean here, as well with the health here. And we take out the widget as well. From the widget, we get our health bar, as well as the health text. And we need the damage screen, so the image. First of all, of course, we need a branch to ask if we take damage. Then we want to set the health on true. We go from the current health and want to say float minus float. And now you can decide how much damage you want to subtract. So let's say five, just for example. Then we go from the health bar and want to set the percent. For this, we go from the return value here and say float defeated by another float. And this is of course 100, so that we get the percent of the current health. As well, we want to set the text of the health text here so again, we go from the return value, connect it, and it automatically converts to a text. The last part is we want to set the damage screen. So set visibility, in this case to visible because we take damage. We need a branch to ask if we are dead. So we go from the current health, check is the float over zero on true. We want a delay here, back here. We set this to one second. And on complete, we go back to the branch. So this is the take damage loop, as you can see. And on false, that means we are dead. We take the character movement, want to disable the movement, of course, like this one, take out the death, want to set it to true. Compile and save this. And the last part is on the first branch on false, we want to set the visibility of the damage screen to hidden again. So when we don't take damage, the damage screen will disappear. So this will be our damage part. The next part is to create a death area. So let's go back, right click, blueprint class, actor, and let's call this death area. Open this up. The death area gets one component. This will be a cylinder like that. And I want to change the material. For this, I will use a content pack, link is in the description. As you can see, we have this material here. So a visual effect. So let's select this one, go to our death area and put this on the material. Of course, we have to change the collision. So let's set the collision to overlap all dynamic. Compile and save this. Let's go to our event graph. We can nearly delete everything. We can leave the tick event. We need one variable called speed. This will be in float. 
So first of all, we take out the cylinder, get the world scale, right click, split structure pin. We go from the X and check the float is over or equal, in this case, two. So this will be the end size of the cylinder. Of course, we need a branch to ask like this one. Then we take out the speed, go from the cylinder and want to set the world scale 3D on true, of course. Right click, split structure pin. We can connect the Z here, go from the X again, float minus float, connect the speed, copy and paste this as well the epsilon, connect the speed as well. This is of course the new X and the new epsilon. Compile and save this. So the last part is we go to the details of the cylinder, scroll down and we have the begin overlap as well as the end overlap event. In both cases, we will cast to our third person character here, like this one. On begin overlap, we want to set the take damage boolean to false. And on end overlap, we want to set it to true. As well, we call our area damage function, like this one. We open up the details, select the speed variable and set the speed to 0.05. So this will be the speed, how far is the cylinder getting smaller. The last part is we need a death animation. So for this, let's open up our mannequin animation, third person animation blueprint here. Let's go to the event graph first. We go from the try get pawn owner we need to cast to our third person character, connect it right here. As well, we need the death boolean as well. We want to set it inside here. We go from the third person character, get the death boolean as well, and set it right here. Compile and save this. Then we go to the animation graph, default, and we just need a new state here. So we pull this out, add state. This is of course the death state and as well we go back. From this one, of course, we take out the death. This will be from idle to death. And the way back is, of course, we take out the death, say not boolean, connected. And for the death itself, I prepared an animation, link is in the description, and we will connect it. Be sure that you open the details and as you can see we have the loop animation to true but we have to do this to false so that the animation ends when we are dying. Let's go back to our third person character, open up the details and let's set the default value to 100 for the health. And just for example let's reduce the health to minus 20. Let's see if this works. We go back to our level, pull out the death area open up the details. Let's say we have a scale of 30. And when we hit play, you can see our health bar, the area getting smaller. When we leave the area, we're getting damage. If we are in the area, we are healthy. And when we too long outside, we will die. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.